Go ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Kara Rose. Today I'm going to talk to you about the organization called Charity Water. Um, I was curious if anyone here was maybe listening during one of the previous presentations. How much water is in the human body? Anybody? Yes. Um, according to Encarta, um, there's approximately 65% of water in the human body, which uh, in order to sustain that, you would need approximately eight to 10 cups of water per day, just an ordinary glass. Um, unsafe water and lack of basic sanitation lead to 80% of all sickness um, and disease and kill more every year than violence and war, according to charitywater.org. 80%, that's a really large number. Um, basic sanitation could be anything from brushing your teeth, showering, um, anything. And that kills more people than causes for malaria and AIDS and a lot of other projects. So why are we talking about water, right? We can walk out the door, there's a soda machine, a water fountain, a bathroom with fresh running water. Um, well, 1.1 billion people in the world do not have access to safe, clean drinking water. 1.1 billion. It's a huge number. I know it's kind of hard to conceptualize, but I can guarantee you it is a very large number. Um, Charity Water is an organization, nonprofit, that works to uh, build water wells in poverty-stricken countries. Um, so, what is Charity Water? It was started by Scott Harrison in 2004 when he made a trip to West Africa and brought a video camera and just kind of went around and was shocked to see um, this. What you'll see here is a few people in Ethiopia carrying. Um, excuse me, carrying jerry cans. They're tied around their shoulders. That actually leads to a lot of physical uh, problems later in life. But she's about the same height as me. So that thing's pretty big. It's pretty heavy when it's filled with water, which is what looks like is happening here. Um, it's very, very heavy. These people travel hours to get water. Now, where is this water coming from? Places like this. They drink that water. That's the kind of water we see on the side of the street when it rains in a muddy ditch. They drink that. It's really unhealthy, it's really unsanitary. Um, here's another picture, I don't know if you can quite see it, but there's cattle drinking out of the same water source. Cattle are not very clean animals. Um, if, you, if the picture's actually extended, there's a pasture with more cattle, which means that's runoff water when it rains. Um, so you can imagine what's in that water. I actually can't physically imagine what's in that water because it's probably really bad. Um, so how do we solve the problem? There's all this water, it's kind of crazy, what can we do about it? There are four main types of wells that can be built. The first is a new well, which you'll see is right here. They're building a well in, I believe, Kenya. Um, a pond sand filter, which filters water that already exists. Uh, rainwater catchments, which catch water and hold the water. And water towers, there's the list of their water tower, which holds water. Um, so when building these wells, you go from this to this. Clean water, what we're used to drinking. It's kind of hard to imagine that people don't have access to clean water. And according to the Charity Water website, so far, 1,247 projects have raised more than $7 million. And that's helped more than 650,000 people. Very large numbers. So they build these wells in places like Uganda, Honduras, Ethiopia, Kenya. The list goes on and on. So where did the $7 million come from? How do they get the money to buy these wells? Well, uh, first they have things every year. They have an event every year called Charity Ball, which um, a lot of famous people attend. They auction things off, and all of the proceeds go towards building wells. Uh, Misha Barton is, an, is a common attendee. I think Adrian Greener, you guys may be familiar with him. He's actually a very huge supporter of the cause. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue, they basically donated their entire display for an entire week which you can see here for jerry cans and pictures for Charity Water to raise awareness and uh, had pamphlets and everything at registers to help spread awareness and raise money. Um, September Babies, they started a project where every person whose birthday was in September would, instead of getting presents, ask for money and donate it to the cause. And that was so popular that they actually extended it to fall birthdays. And that was so popular that now they've opened it up to everybody. Um, not that you couldn't have done it before, but that's their main project. And um, now with the holidays coming up, they're looking to try and do the same thing for Christmas. Sometimes people donate their presents to children. Well, there are a lot of people that want to donate their money to the cause. Uh, and this is a charity water bottle. You can order those online. They're $20. 
I know you probably wouldn't pay $20 for a bottle of water, but it is for the cause. There was also uh, another thing called Twestable, where uh, for an entire day, everyone donated their Twitter statuses to the cause. And that raised over $250,000, and that paid for a little over 55 wells. So how do we get involved? Well, if you choose to get involved, um, you can volunteer by donating money, uh, attending events, volunteering your time, interning if you feel so strongly, uh, purchasing a bottle. Also, they have a program called Waters, Water for Schools. Um, the University of Maryland has a group named Quench, and they actually look to uh, promote awareness, raise money, and everything in between. Um, change for Change, they just had that, but if you're a part of a group and you don't really have the time for Quench, you can raise it to your group and have a bucket and raise change and then donate it to the cause, and that's where a lot of money comes from as well. Also fundraising, I mean, if you happen to be running a race, I know there's like the Marine Corps Marathon, there's a lot of things that go on, and you can be sponsored for it. There was a person who was sponsored for climbing like Mount Everest and raised a lot of money. So um, if the people, if everyone could open your cards, if you have a red dot, could you please stand up? If not, sorry, it's not personal. One in six people, one in six people in the world do not have access to clean, safe drinking water. That 1.1 billion comes out to 1.6. For us, water is easily accessible. Next time you pick up a bottle of water or a glass of water, be reminded that 1.6, I'm sorry, 1.1 billion, one in six people do not have access to clean, safe drinking water. I hope that next time you think of charity water and that you may feel inclined to donate.